Hi guys, today I'm going to show you a couple of methods to copy the files from your Insta360 Pro to your computer without the need to remove them, the SD card or the SSD from the camera. So let's take a look then uh, at the first method. This is going to be using the Universal ADB drivers. I'll put a link uh, below for you to be able to download these. You'll need these to be able to connect directly to the camera. Um, the other thing you're going to need is the Android SDK platform tools for your particular platform. Um, unpack them. For Windows, what I tend to do is to just unpack the, the zip file that they come in and copy it to the root of my C drive, and then I rename it ADB. This is just so it's easier to find when you're working from the command line. So once you have the drivers and the SDK tools installed, use the cable that was supplied with the camera to connect the Type-C to the camera and then the standard USB to the computer. And that's pretty much all you should need to do there. OK, so with the camera now com connected to the computer, uh, power it on and wait for it to fully boot. Once it's done that, uh, on Windows, all you need to do is in the address bar at the top here, click into there and type CMD and hit enter. This will bring up then a um, command line window. And this is what you'll use to type in the commands to send to the camera. So the first thing we'll do is we'll check that it's connected. So we'll type ADB devices. And we can see that it's returned uh, this long string here, followed by device. That means that the camera is successfully connected. So we now need to figure out where the pictures are and videos that we want to pull using the ADB. The easiest way to do this is to run the camera control software. Um, you'll need to be connected, obviously, via either the Wi-Fi or via the LAN. Mine's currently connected via the LAN, so I'm going to connect to it. The SD card is connected here. Now all you need to do is to click onto that and then when it lists all the different files that are on the camera right click on one of them and do open in browser. We can now see uh, the IP address of the camera, the port number it's on and then the path to the media folder. This is the bit that we want. Now these end numbers here are dependent upon the SD card or the SSD, whatever it is that's connected into your camera. So this number will be different for your system. But what I'm going to do is take everything from before there. So I want the forward slash MNT slash media RW and then the number. And I'm just going to copy that. With that done, we can now put these to the side, close that one, close that one. And then all I need to do is to go into our command line and type ADB, pull, and then right click to paste that string that we just copied in. And we hit enter. And it's now pulling all of those files into our ADB folder. So if we take a look in there, we can see it's now created the 30 um, 3030-3533, which is the number that we got from the uh, control software. And if we open that up, we can see that it's now starting to pull all the different folders in. Okay, so that's finally finished. And that took about six minutes or so in total. Uh, which is quite a long time for basically what is two point three gigabyte. So that's pretty slow. Um, now, in the next video, I'm going to show you a much faster method. That one works, and it may be just the thing that you need. Um, however, the next method I'll show you is actually much quicker.